Hello, this is Paolo with a reality tip. In this video, I'm going to show you how to spot and resolve a possible issue in which you see a texture like here in your studio model, it renders in studio, but when you try to render this in Lux via reality, the entire texture becomes white or whitish. Um, so what's happening there? I'm going to show you exactly the example first and then how we spot it. Let's call reality. And here uh, we have our materials. Let's do a quick render. And we will see the center part of that model being devoid of textures. Now you can see what I was talking about. What the hell is happening? Where did the texture go? So let's go back to studio and verify that the texture here is exactly there. So if I close reality and highlight this material, for example, now we see that the texture is present. I can call reality. And by calling reality with the material highlighted, I'm automatically brought here in my material editor. And we can see that the texture is here. Now, we can verify that through the texture viewer. And it is here. I mean, it's showing correctly. So what is the problem? Now, we can see that the material, in fact, is rendered white. The problem is right here in the specular color. Sometimes, depending on how the material is configured in studio, or maybe just simply by clicking around, this might be just too high. Now, the specular color should never go, you know, higher than this point, the midpoint. This is already very, very high. But when we have it at 254, 255, even 250, the texture basically is still there, but the specular color is reflecting, is causing the light to reflect almost 100% from the surface. So basically, when you have light reflecting uniformly, 100% away from, from, from the surface, then that's the effect that you, you receive. It becomes almost 100% white light with no definition. So the solution is very simple. Just bring this value down to something more reasonable, which is, this is already very, very, very high. This is like very shiny marble high, but you can see now that we have regained our definition. If we do a test render, we should go back to the original and everything will be good in the world. And let's fast forward to the render. And even at this early stage, you can see that we have regained our texture, which never went away. So very, very simple way of spotting the problem. Look at your specular color, even if your glossiness is way down. If you bring the color all the way up, you'll end up with a white texture, a you know, supposedly white texture. So very, very simple solution. Bring the color, the specular color down and everything will be good again in the world. I hope this was a useful tip. See you next time.